I'm not sure what tree you are, but you look like a bonsai a little bit. So I shall call you bonsai. Thank you for the air. What's going on, YouTube? My name is Diesel, and today we're here. We're back. And Train Mechanic Simulator 2017. I want to thank you for all the love and support on the series. Oh, I like the skylights. If you enjoyed these videos, make sure you hit that like button. It helps out my channel ever so much more than you know. Let's go ahead and grab some missions. Hello. Hey, computer. How you doing there, computer? All right. Let's see here. An electric locomotive got stuck on the mountain pass in the vicinity of B2. It was towed to the workshop and repairs <laughs> requires repair. Check the cause and effect. I don't know why I'm talking like a 20s radio guy, but now I am. There's an electric locomotive on the route of uh, square E1. Seems like there's a lot of stuff that's broken down here. The driver has reported failure of the control system. Find the cause. Let's, I'll tell you what. Let's stick to the shop here real quick, and then we'll go out and venture. We'll go out and venture into the world. All right. Compressor. $23,000. $23,700, man. That's what we got to work with. Ooh. Uh, there's your problem right there, man. All right. Let's see here. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Let me guess. I gotta take this whole frame off, huh? Hmm. Right. <laughs> right. You know what the worst part is? I think I'd do it both. What's going on here, man? Oh. The battery casings. Oh, huh? well, it is electric. It's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Ha ha ha. You can feel it. It's electric. Boogie, boogie, boogie. All right. I think it's all... Oh, oh, oh. I think it's all going to be in the front there. And we just got to take it apart. We just got to take it apart, man. Uh, so, uh, say I wanted to disassemble you. What about the hydraulics? It's got to be something that, uh, it's like little, little teeny weeny. Little polka dot bikini that she wore for the first time today. Um, it's gonna be something that we're gonna have to find along our travels here. Our travels, yeah. All right, what you need to do is you need to take off all of these things first. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh man, I was like, hey man, let's uh let's start something simple. Oh okay. Take you off. Let's take you off. Let's get our trusty wrench out. Very good. Very good. Um, whew. It's so rough. Boom. Get them calipers off. Let's unscrew it. We're basically going to take off the whole thing and reassemble it. Huh? Say what? You heard me. Let's go ahead and we'll take you off. Jeez. <laughs> it's gonna be what a day, what a day. It's like, hey, something's uh, something's not uh, sounding right down here. Oh, it's the whole bottom of the train. What did you do? Well, I didn't think it was going to be that bad. Oh, you didn't think. That's the problem. You didn't think. It's the same thing my mom... That's like the, the excuse my mom always used to say to me. She's like, oh, so let me get this straight. You didn't think. That's the problem right there. You didn't think. Oh, ma. Come on, ma. Cut me some slack, ma. Let's grab you. Take you off. It's like... Yeah. We're going to take this whole thing apart. Let's do it. Let's do it. Boom. Boom. One tiny little piece at a time. <laughs> Why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to me, my friends? Mm. Boop. I boop your nose. Boop. Nope. Ugh. So you download me one entire side, and then you're like, all right, that side's done. Now to the other side. Right to the other side. Hello from the other side. At least I can show you that I tried. I think those are the words. I don't know the lyrics. So let's move this y'all. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. 
springs, coils, whatever you want to call it. Steel and rubber V-form spring. It's a spring. So that's what I'm going to call you. All right, so let's head over to here. And we got to do the same thing. Just take off the whole, the whole side. Just the whole thing. We're just going to take it all off. Take it off. Just take it all off. All right, let's go ahead. We'll grab you. And you. And you. And now we got to get to the calipers. Brake caliper. And then we got the caliper arm. No, we don't. We have the hydraulic arm. The hydraulics first. And then... A little bolt action. Bolt action, spring action. What? Say what? You heard me. Boom. Boom. Caliper arm. Off you go. Hydraulic mode. Off you go too, sir. Boom. Boom. Uh, get that nut. So what business are you in? Nuts. Let's get the coils. More springs. If you want to be technical. You know, it's a good thing we unlocked the, uh, the th three times speed when it comes to the uh, taking off the bolts and the screws and the nuts. Otherwise, this would be. Otherwise, this would be boring. <laughs> hmm. So, grab you and come here. Come here, F. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's take off the hydraulic here again, and then we'll move to the interior. Now watch. I'll remove everything on this thing, and then it'll say, "Yeah, still, you're still missing one pat." Excuse me. Still missing one pat. You gotta take the whole train apart again. Or, you gotta take the whole train apart again. I don't know why whenever I get into mechanic mode, I get I, sound, I have like a Boston accent. I don't know. But you know what, maybe it's not for me to know. Maybe you just gotta roll with it. Just roll with it. It'll be fine. Alright. Well, if you go, sir. Boom. 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 We are literally taking this entire train apart, piece by piece. Like, really? Really? Uh, uh. Slide you off. Slide you off drive gear. Uh, electric motor. Hold on here. Electric motor shaft. That's okay. That's okay. We'll take you off, though. That's okay. You'll bolt it down. They're a little rusty. They're a little rusty. All these little parts, man. Power supply cable. You off. You off. Oh. Nope. <laughs> Just that's the color it normally is. Okay. Okay. I believe you. And now you just pop on out. Boom. That's exactly what's gonna happen here. I'm gonna take this whole thing apart and it's not gonna be I'm not gonna be able to find it. Maybe we'll have to check out the other parts then. We're just gonna have to take apart all. We're take, well, I will take part of this whole train. I will do it. You don't know. You don't know who you mess with. You're messing with the ultimate mechanic. Oh man, went to a birthday party yesterday, so I'm a little uh, groggy. I woke up a little late. I'm just like, let me sip on my coffee here. We we'll get after these trains. Boom, boom, nice. Oh, hut. Slide you off. Slide you off. Slide you off. One by one, piece by piece, bit by bit. It's the best. Take you off, Buttercup. That way we can turn you around. And get you back on the rails. Okay, let's pop you there. Awesome. Give me that. Take you. Take you. And now can I have you? Hey! <laughs> Did we even find... Hold on here. Probably the compressor's also damaged. I'm, I'm looking at the wrong part. Air compressors? Ah, oh, jeez. Alright, well, you know what? At least we learned a valuable lesson here today. And that means 
to not worry about the engine here. <laughs> ah! Okay. Tractor converter. Compressors, air compressors. Excuse me. May uh, you can I sh can you show me the air compressors, please? Aha! Air compressors. Oh, it's a good thing I took apart everything. Even though the entire frame is broken. Those just slide out. Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. If it's uh, in, in within our budget, if it's within our budget, we can totally do it. I'm only going to assume that this is... That's mechanical. I took apart the whole train and was looking at the wrong thing. See? Ultimate mechanic. Oh, okay. Repair. Repair. Beautiful. And what's our budget again for this? Oh, geez. <laughs> cost of the order in on the account minus. 300 okay so estimated cost for the order 23750 okay so i'm way under budget which is good so we'll put you there now we got to put this whole thing back together again Train is not complete. Mount the missing parts. Yeah, no kidding. I'm just trying to get, into, get an idea. Didn't it say $23,000 about the uh, cost was? I don't know. We're pretty good at repairing stuff mechanically. 100%. 12 grand? <clears throat> Let's do it. Let's do it. Screw it. You know what? I can't send another. I can't send a train out all kinds of crap. Like. I saw that rust bucket and I'm like, yo, bro. Hey, man. Select. Oh, see now you're kind of look. Now you're looking better. You're just looking all kinds of better now. See, I am the best mechanic. I'm the best mechanic ever. Okay. Okay. You just gotta repair everything. <laughs> Take a little extra time. It'll be fine. Screw you in with a grin. Just might as well just go from left to right, from left to right, bum, 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 from left to right, for all you 7 Dust fans, and we'll take the Hydraulic Absorber, select you, we're just going to have to go section by section here, so calipers, add those as well, one screw to hold that whole big piece in there, doesn't seem safe to me, but you know what, who am I, who am I to judge, who am I to judge, Safety first, then teamwork. Put you in. Put you in. Very good. Very nice. Sexy. Lovely. Good, good, good. Let's grab you. Awesome sauce. Very good. Very good indeed. Awesome. Good stew. Good stew. Good stew. Good stuff. Yeah, I was watching the uh, basketball games last night. Mm -mm. Quality. It was. I was mostly watching the uh, Gonzaga game. My buddy. Uh, we were. We were both rooting for Xavier. Uh, my bracket's all kinds of jacked up, so I really don't have a dog in the fight. So he was like, "I, I need Xavier to win." I was like, "All right, we're gonna watch Xavier try to win," and it was not a good day for him. <laughs> they, got, they got rocked. They got rocked. Good. It was an okay game. It was kind of a, a stressful game. Okay, trying to focus in over here. There we go. Thank you. Can we focus in? Thank you. Camera angle. 
camera angle. Their dangle. What do you... Come on. There we are. Perfect. And then we put you in. And then we'll, we'll bolt you in there. Yeah, so we were watching that just kind of getting sad. And then the uh, Oregon State uh, Kansas game came on. And I was like, oh man, this looks like it's going to be an awesome game. And then we came home and my wife's like, we are not watching basketball. I'm like, oh. 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 So we watched Ghost Adventures anyway. It's a quality show. We enjoy it. We enjoy the supernatural. The paranormal. Scurry. Ooh, scurry. Grab you. Put you in. And the left side. She is complete. So, let's go ahead and we'll open up the middle here. This stuff, most of this stuff should just slide on. Boom. Boom. <clears throat> Excuse me. Boom. Boom. Bracket it up. <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon me. I coughed into the mic, which is really unprofessional. Ah, uh, yep. Pop you there. Pop you there. Okay. Screw everything in. Screw it. Screw it all in. Awesome. All right. Everything's all cleaned up right here. We still have another part of the middle section to put together. We're all kinds of fancy. Boom. 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 I don't even care if we're over budget. We fixed all the parts. Everything was, was things that were broken. We're like uh, general contractors. We go into some place. If there's something that's not up to code, be like, listen, uh, we have to fix this because it's not uh, a correct way to live in a house that's broken. Like, all right, well, there goes the budget. Oh, shizzle. They said it. There goes the budget. And whenever I hear that, I'm like, oh, but what about the budget? My wife watches all those HGTV shows of all the uh, different house buying stuff. And she's like, oh, man, now, now they got to spend money here. I'm like, they are well aware of the money they're going to have to spend on this house. This is not something that's a surprise. It's a surprise for TV. And she's just like, no, I don't, I don't believe it. I was like, I come from an entertainment, entertainment background. These are already planned. They know exactly how much they're going to have to work with, and they're just getting angry. They're playing with it. They're playing with. They're playing with your feelings. They're playing with your feelings. She's like, I no, I refuse to believe it. Just like all the ghost hunter shows, I like popping her. I like uh, <laughs> bursting her bubble when it comes to uh, scary things. He's like, man, well, it's amazing how they just roll in with two cameras. Not ghost adventures, ghost hunters. The what the sci-fi show back in the day. Not back in the day. That's like a relatively newer show. She was just like, uh, oh man, they just have their cameras. I was like, well then who's filming them? And she stopped. I'm like, who's filming them talking right now? Because I don't see them holding the camera like a selfie. She's like, oh my god. I'm like, I can tell you exactly what's going on with this. There are the two guys in, in the room, in the dark, talking to nothing. Then you have two, it's like you have two angles. You have two angles of them talking. So you have two cameramen and a, a boom sound guy sitting in there. So there's five dudes in this tiny little room and then you wonder why they, they never catch anything. They never catch anything because there's way too many people. I wouldn't want to. If I were a ghost, I'd be like, nah, I'm good. Nah, son, I'm good. I'm good. I don't need to, I don't need to come out and say hi to y'all. I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Too many of you. It's too many cooks in the kitchen. Too many people in my room. Could y'all just leave? And they always capture, like, get out. And I was like, I would tell you to get out, too. If y'all were in my room. If you were in my room, and I'm a, and I'm a spurt, and there's 15 people in the room trying to film something stupid, damn right I'm going to say get out. Uh, excuse me, there's way too many people here. 
Okay, get out. There's a polite ghost. It's Casper the polite ghost. Uh, Diesel is Casper the friendly ghost. Uh, maybe in your world. But he's also very polite. I'll be Diesel the polite ghost. Excuse me, can y'all get out of my room? Ladies, you could stay. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean, bro? I'm just playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. Don't leave a comment. All right, let's go ahead and pop you there. Pop you there. And last but not least, fantastic. We'll put you there. We also have to bracket it. But this is done. Well, that was an unsurpri that was a surprising little twist there. Something I didn't have to do, but have done anyway. It's going to be fine. We're going to get through this together, folks. I don't even care if we miss out on the bonus. We fixed the whole thing that was broken. And you know what? We feel better about it now. Like, yeah, 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 well. It was over budget, but we know now that this train is going to be working for you for quite some time now. Otherwise, we'll just be right back in the shop. And that's no bueno. It is no bueno. Boom. And we're under, we're still under budget. Ah, we're the best mechanics in the world. Finish that order. Finish that order. Remember to use your own cash to improve your workshop and using a tablet. Oh, okay. Speaking of that. Not enough scratch. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll grab ourselves another mission. Oh, okay. Not found. 87,000. It appears the cause and effect of defective transmission. Okay. Defective transmission, you say? Yeah, see? Defective transmission, see? Hey, Tiger. Oh, these are expensive. These are expensive. Hold on. Take you. Very good. How about you? That doesn't seem to be too bad, man. There's two pieces. Two pieces. Two parts. Okay. Nope. Incorrect. Let's go over here. Hello. Gotcha. Take you off. Ready? Okay. Let's go ahead and we'll head on over to fix it. Hopefully we can fix these because the last time we had the problem with this, it uh, didn't go too hot. Repair. 66%. Oh. Come on, baby. Shenanigans. Shenanigans. Come on, brother. There we go. All right. There we go. All right. Uh -huh. All right. So, drive gear. Whoops. Nope. Drive gear. Forty-six grand. It's lame. We're over budget. We're over budget, sir. Now, now we're over budget. You know what I mean? What a bunch of shenanigans. Installation. But at least you're brand new. Bugaboo. Now you're pretty. And a hook. Boom. 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 Nice. It's lame. 110 grand. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> Thanks for the 250 bucks. Clown. Uh, parts warehouse. Nothing. Ain't got nothing. All right, so let's see what this uh, last little mission over here is. Uh, looks like we gotta go find an electric train there. Let's go do it. In progress. Okay, so E1 is where we're going to be going here, and it's really close. There's only one little track right there through the canyon, it looks like, and we have two tracks that need to be changed, electric engine depot to the north electric engine depot, 
and this will go through the canyon. So let's just kind of chug along here. Boom. We should be all set. Let's rev it up, son. Huh. Aw, where's the horn at again? Which was the horn? Ha, yeah. Awesome. Oh, it's right up here. I can see it. That's the ticket. Hopefully we won't have to uh, crane it. Hopefully it'll be one of those early missions where we just like roll into the place. Yep. No crane needed here. And now we have to head back to the electric station. So, that, 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 uh, it's gonna be quite the trip around. So I'll tell you what, y'all, I will be back in a hot second. We'll make a little cut, and I will be back in a hot, hot second. Okay, okay. And we are back, and you are pretty looking. Yes, you are. All right, most likely the problem concerns the batteries in the locomotive. Check the, check that they are good and make the necessary repairs. Check the fuses are burned. We got four parts, and we're doing electrical work. It's like the one thing I despise in my uh, in life is electrical work. Uh, I'm not even gonna lie. I ain't even gonna lie. It looks like this would be the place. Hello, testing mode. Testing, testing. One, two. Three. Uh, do for the thumbnail. Bang. All right. So let's go ahead and check out the valve transmitter because that looks like a little rusted. But it looks like you are one of the problems there. Little fuses. Twenty-five amp fuse. You mean to tell me this giant train is getting dropped by this twenty-five? All right. Alright. Hmm. I'm not taking apart the whole switchboard. I can promise you this. Let's see here. Oh, I see it over there. I see the problem right here, man. Ooh. How about you? Oh. Gross. Gross. Your batteries are gross. What says here? Most likely the problem concerns the batteries in the locomotive. Check that they are good and make the necessary repairs. Check the fuses are burned. All right, so we're in the right section. Disassembly, let's take you apart because we need to fix the batteries. Normally, I don't think you, I don't think you can fix batteries. It's kind of like one of those things where you just got to replace them. But you know what? We're gonna try it. Wrong workbench? No, I don't think it's the wrong workbench. Uh, so 25 amp fuse, wrong wrong workbench in the electrical area. Okay, 31 percent. 31%, come on, brother. Nice. All right. We got that going for us. Repair, 66%. Uh, two thirds, I like it. Oh, yeah. Killing it. Come on, baby. Beautiful. 66%, come on. Oh, shizzle. All right, so we got one battery we have to buy. One battery and one fuse. Well, hold on here. What workbench would constitute a 25 amp fuse? Really? The hydraulics workbench? Uh, sure. Why ask questions, you know? Alright, so just one battery. Hydraulics, engine parts, battery. Oh, right there. $11,000? Was it made of gold? Oh, we just come under budget too. Just under budget. 
Boom. Installation. Battery. We're talking battery. I'm talking battery. We're talking batteries. Excuse me, are you talking batteries? I'm talking back out of batteries. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Let's move it over. Camera angles is something like the focus button is something that uh, is less to be desired sometimes. All right, installation mode. Installation. Amps. Beautiful. Is a tis a thing of beauty, my friends. Tis a thing of beauty. And we came in under budget. Hold on here. Pardon, I found. Now we're going to be over budget. Oh no. I checked the fuses. All the fuses are fine. Oh. Fine. I'll check more fuses. See if I care. And that's my choice. All those... Hold on here. Found it. Just a little bit of rust on it. See this? There was just a little bit of like rust on the top there. You can't really tell because the camera sucks. Okay, so disassembly. I made a weird sound for such a tiny thing to be taken out. Like, hey man. Hey, do I need the hydraulics workbench for this too? So stupid. 507. Oh, if we can repair it. And this day just got to crap. What a crap day. What a crap day, man. <laughs> Come on, son. Fuses. Just give me the fuse. Just give me the fuse and watch the door. $600. Really? Yeah, now we're over budget. No kidding. Here, I was thinking it was going to be A-OK -okay and everyone was just going to be full of happy rainbows and balloons of happy faces. But it was not meant to be. Hello. Let's focus in. Can I focus in on you? Focus. 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 Fine. Installation. Boom. Now we're, now we're just dandy. Check marks. Check mark. Yeah, we got to click on these separate things here. To open up the different menus. But finish the order. That's fine. It's fine, guys. It's fine. Live and you learn. And we're, we're gaining some cash. We just couldn't fix all the parts. Can we unlock any more to improve our workshop? Sure can't. Okay. <laughs> Looks like we're just going to have to suck it up and wait for the next episode, folks. If you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button. Helps out my channel ever so much more than you know. A damaged train is a problem leaving her station near the depot. Help me get to the workshop and make the necessary repairs. We shall wait. We shall wait for that one in the next episode. So, like I said, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Helps out my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos are coming out every single day, every single week, folks. Have a great day, afternoon, evening, and good night. Peace out, like, shout y'all, and I'll check you out right here again in Train Mechanic Simulator 2017, baby. Next time. High five there, big guy. High five. Slap hands. Slap hands. Slap hands.